Hey everyone, and welcome to another live challenger commentary from a Skillcapped expert. This guide comes from our website, skillcapped.com, where we have over 500 Smurf commentaries by the top players and coaches, teaching you exactly how to escape the rank that you're stuck in. There's 14 brand new commentaries added each week, and a site-exclusive feature where our challenger experts will answer any and all questions that you have. All of this and so much more can be unlocked at our website, skillcap.com, so click the link in the description below, head to skillcap.com, and get the rank you've always wanted. Hey guys, what's up? It's Achilles Healies, back with another Challenger Smurf support commentary. Today I'm playing Trundle support in Platinum Elo, and I'm trying out a new Hail of Blades tech for Trundle support to help with the early trades. So basically, you still go a standard build, but this Halo Blades is going to give you a lot more damage for the early on trades. And I think with this ward, I'm going to even try to do a Q start, because if they face check us, the Q utility from this slow is going to be just as effective as my pillar. And obviously, pillar doesn't do damage, and my Q chomp does. But overall, Trundle support, your main source of utility is going to be your E. So I'm going to be uh, maximizing CDR with like a locket, maybe some Lucidity boots. Doesn't look like they're leashing bot side, so it's going to be a pretty even lane. This Hail of Blades is really nice versus a melee support because you won't get kited by the enemy support, like a Karma or a Lulu. So you can actually get all those autos off with the Hail of Blades. I actually wasted my pillar, but he still has to burn his flash. I thought he would sit in the bush. I don't know why he's face checking us like that. But you can see there, like I did so much damage uh, early on in that trade. And I have E in 4 seconds, so definitely burn this guy's flash. Okay, so the Jin didn't want to chase, it's fine. I'm gonna have to burn my flash for it. With my pillar coming up, I, we definitely could have fought that. Nice, we end up getting the kill regardless. It's gonna be hard to get this wave in super fast because Jin is pretty slow at pushing and it's a cannon wave. But we get the wave in, Jin's gonna reset with his gold. I have a timer to roam here because I don't need to beat a lane super fast since it's gonna start slow pushing towards our turret. Jin won't really need my help. So, I have a small room timer here. Probably won't get much, but might as well try. Might be able to get a flash here, actually. Just gonna get the Q slow. Okay, Mazahar early doesn't really do too much damage, so Garen's just gonna chill there. Yeah, Malzahar is just good. Okay, so now I can go back to lane. You can see the wave, There's, they have no option to freeze it. They're just going to push it into Jin, and he can catch the wave for free. This is a pretty bad fight because I'm on a reset in the river here. Not sure what Olaf is doing. But, just going to go back to my plan. Soak up the XP here, make sure that they don't dive Jin. So after these minions die, when you're playing against champions like Blitzcrank, they're going to have a lot more hook angles, so you got to be careful when they actually uh, kill the wave. and. A lot of times you're going to have to wait for the next wave to, to come in before you even walk up. I'm just going to pillar for vision real quick. I do want to pink and try bush right now because Rengar could still be lingering bot side. Of 
Looks like they might have reset, so this wave will get under turret. And they're gonna miss a lot of XP here, actually. I guess the reset makes sense because Vayne was sitting on like 800 gold, roughly. I'm gonna ping that Blitz, Blitz is roaming because he doesn't have a roam timer here. We can't really punish Vayne under turret, but Blitz is free to roam at this time. You have to watch out for a gank right now, though. Trundle, you don't really want to siege the turret as Trundle because it's just gonna put you in very awkward situations. Unless you know for sure that the enemy jungler is topside, or like your your uh, jungler is hovering you in lane or something, you don't want to be stepping up. On the flip side, fights in this quadrant of your lane is going to be really advantageous for you, because Trundle you can pillar and chase someone down. I won't be able to freeze this because Vayne, she's going to siege since she has no reason to recall here. Especially since she knows Olaf is top. So I had no option to walk up and get a freeze there. Which is all good. We burned her Q here, so I can actually pill her. Gonna walk up an auto. Get the Q slow. Nice, Jin was able to get into range there. So like this is like a dream matchup for, for Trundle, honestly. Melee support where you can beat them down with your Halo Blades in the early trades. A Vayne who, after she uses Q, has very little mobility. And even Blitz, like... Oh, this is possibly bad. Okay, I'm okay. It sucks that I'm low because if I was full HP, Rengar, yeah, see Rengar can just come and... I can't really do much to help Jin here, unfortunately. Just gonna reset here though. A pretty bad mistake by me getting hooked there. But I mean, after I get hooked and um, I'm not able to help Jin, we do have to just be extra careful of the Rengar. Because even the 2v2 is a bit uh, coin flippy. But with me low, it's definitely just a lost fight. I think Aatrox is just going to reset here, unless Olaf just kills him. Okay, well, I'm surprised he won that. Yeah, there's no contesting that dragon because Olaf is just ganking top. We have no control of Bot River. So we do have to watch out for their dragon stacking. It's a pretty early uh, first dragon, but not super early at 8 minutes. Okay, so Vayne, she just spent her gold. She's probably just sitting under turret right now, waiting for Blitz to come back into lane. But we're just going to push this regardless. I want to get some control in River before we look to fight 2v2. Get the Q slow on the Blitz here. Get the Q slow one more time. Nice, so we got the kill. And I need to smart cast my W because it keeps on messing me up. So now we know Blitz is dead obviously, and Vayne is pretty vulnerable uh, 1v1 uh, at this point of the game. So if we see Rengar topside, we can actually dive the Vayne here. But without knowledge of Rengar, don't want to get too aggressive. Because Rengar is 2-0, he can snowball this game out of control and potentially just 1v9 the game. Okay, so got a ruby crystal. J Jin is going to catch bot wave here. He's going to miss most of it, so I might actually just run straight bot and get the solo XP. Again, I didn't really have an option to freeze there because Vayne, she just came back from base. She's not really looking to recall or anything, so I can't really cheese a freeze. I get a little bit of solo XP though, which is nice. My pillar threat is very strong right now, as you can see. Just gonna pillar away from that melee minion. I don't know if you guys saw that. I 
I think there's a, about to be a big 3v3 fight bot side, so I want to sweep the lane to make sure we don't get TP flanked by Aatrox in the middle of the fight. I'm going to dodge out the hook here and we can chase down the Blitz. Okay, Rengar is actually bot right now. With Olaf coming down and Vayne's super low, I think we might actually be able to win this. Okay, really nice axe by Olaf. Okay, this looks really good for us. Jin should be able to get that kill, nice. Nice, really well played by my team. So there, I definitely went a little bit too early, but I knew with Olaf hovering in Tribush here that we would win that uh, fight, even if Rengar showed. And you could tell, like, my intuition, um, even before the fight, I was like, there's going to be a big 3v3 bot side here. So, like, I, I definitely expected that play, and just given that we're stronger at that state of the game, really good fight to go for, honestly. So here we have to be careful of Garen. Um, roaming up. Okay, we see a mid lane. Just want to go for a quick roam here. Don't want to spend too much time. Okay, might as well get a deep ward while I'm spending my time up here. Now we have a timer for the roam. Nice, got the kill on Aatrox and even burned his flash. Okay, so Jin has to be careful about getting dove bot. Okay, he just gets dove. Olaf should have been hovering him there most likely in an ideal world. I still like my roam play even though my Jin died. I don't know, he probably got hooked and got chunked. Definitely pretty avoidable. They actually get a lot of turret platings bot. I don't think they can take the turret here. Okay, so with Jin walking back bot, I can start heading back to lane. Dragon's spawning right now. Vayne is going to want to reset, so we might actually have a dragon timer here. I'm actually going to cancel Vayne's reset here. If possible. I don't think this fight up here is going to be good, but we'll see. Nice, big pillar. Put me into auto range for the uh, for the gen. We're actually melting this dragon too. I can pillar to zone if they come to contest. Should be ours. Nice. So with Vayne mid right now, that's actually a big mistake by her. We can crash this wave and she's gonna miss all of this XP. Okay, I should be fine here. Very aggressive by Jin. Did not like that. With Jin ult coming up and us being so healthy, or Jin being so healthy rather, we could have extended that play rather than diving at that very moment. We do get the Rift Herald on the top side though. We're probably going to lose bot turret because it takes pretty long for me to get back to lane here. But since Malz is taking blue, I'm just going to soak up some solo XP mid here. Okay, so I think Vayne is going to reset and uh, go top to cover top and catch the wave. So I'm going to walk towards top, get some deep side vision, and threaten a dive on the top side here. 
Oh, we actually have Rift Herald, so that accelerates the play. And Vayne didn't even reset bot, it looks like. But still, just given that we got the kill top, I'm free to get vision. Okay, so we got Garen's flash there. If Olaf and Quinn were on the same page as me, we definitely could have killed him. Just gonna queue for the slow here. Kind of perma solo this guy so my Olaf and Quinn can get in range because they are pretty short range. We see Garen recalling right now, so I think we have time to break this turret. Want to leave together here. I'm gonna drop a ward on their red because might as well before I reset. But you can see the strength of Trundle versus this comp specifically. Like a lot of melee short range champions, like they're always gonna be in my pillar range if they're ever auto attacking someone. So, like I said earlier, just a dream scenario for Trundle. And you can just see how effective this uh, Halo Blades Trundle support build is. So given that laning phase is over now, like top, top turrets are down, we lost our bot turrets. Um, we want to be playing through mid lane my priority, uh, primarily. I don't know why that did not come to mind. But we want to be playing through mid lane priority, or <laughs> primarily, wow, that's... Very interesting. Okay, pretty troll TP. Jin is coming back from from spawn. Trying to get a Q slow on the closest target. Actually gonna ulti Trundle here. Or er, Trundle ulti Garen. Okay, so we're just a lot stronger at this point. And even though Trundle is um, a melee champion with not a whole lot of CC, his pillar is actually like a very strong tool to force fights. So with my high CDR and like high base movement speed with my W, I can actually get in pillar range super super easily and force these advantageous fights. Dragon's up in 20 minutes, but my carries are sitting on a lot of gold right now, so it might not be good to start it right away. But just gonna start with a pretty forward line of vision. Don't want to contest the vision right now because um, my Jin is topside. Not really looking to sweep out their vision quite yet. Looks like we're just gonna get the dragon for free though. I'm just gonna W to kind of threaten a little bit. So with Quinn and Jin coming back from base and Baron not on the map, like we might as well just look to siege mid here for a little bit. Our siege is actually really good because we outranged them pretty heavily. I'm gonna trundle ulti Aatrox here because he's just gonna be the main target for my team. We should be able to get two inhibs here. I'm gonna pillar to zone the Garen. He can't really go around it super effectively so with no dashes. And I am pretty low on mana here, so I'm just going to try to conserve my mana so I have enough for a pillar and a Q later on. Alright, really good siege. Just uh, abusing the fact that we're, we're pretty far ahead and our range advantage there.
So Thornmail is another good option, especially in the meta right now, because a lot of tops and junglers are going Gore Drinker. A lot of AD carries have um, built-in sustain, obviously. So I really like Thornmail second on Trundle support, because it gives you really valuable um, stats from the HP and armor, but also that that healing reduction is huge. Oh, we're actually starting Baron here. I think it's fine because of how extended we were from that siege earlier. Because, like, look how far into their base they are. Like, it takes them so long to get to Baron. So we had a lot of time to, to work with there. And since I just reset, I don't really need to recall right here. So I might as well just start slow pushing midwave. And then try to sync it up with bot. Because that's going to be our next season. Sieging uh, turret, given that we already have top and mid inhibs. So, given that we're sieging bot, I'm just gonna look to ward up bot side here. I am pretty far from my team, so I do have to be a little careful here, but I'm not too worried since I see Blitz Crank on the map in mid. Now we can start pushing the bot wave. And we want this as fast as possible because top wave is crashing in and they're busy clearing mid. And this is a scenario where like we don't need to rush this play because we have a lot of time to work with with our Baron buff. And we also have the top mid and top and mid inhibs pushing in. Okay, so. Blitz just hooks me. I, get, I try to get my ulti off, but don't even need it. Overall, pretty good Trundle game. Like, uh, just shows the strengths against these kind of picks. Vayne, short range picks. So, definitely if you see this in your solo queue game, people picking really short range comps with a lot of melees, maybe, uh, maybe Trundle's a good pick for you. GG. And remember, this guide comes from our website, skillcap.com, where we have over 500 smurf commentaries by the top players and coaches teaching you exactly how to escape the rank that you're stuck in. Not only that, but we release 14 brand new smurf commentaries with cutting edge builds and meta champions every single week. And if that wasn't enough, we have a site exclusive feature where you can ask the challenger expert any question you want, anything you're struggling with or confused about, and are guaranteed a response by them. All of this can be unlocked for as little as $5 a month and is backed by our rank improvement guarantee. That means a full refund if you don't improve. That's not all. You also get the most comprehensive League of Legends training on the internet with over 900 videos and 150 courses teaching you exactly what you need to know to improve. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below, head to skillcap.com and join the hundreds of thousands of satisfied skillcapped members and get that rank you've always wanted.